Hey there everyone, this is Victor with Victor Vector JKU, and today I'm going to be blacking out the hood on Project Vector. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so I just finished up getting the grill inserts installed on my grill. Next up, what I'm going to be working on here is blacking out the hood. I'll be using a plastic dip and also I'm going to run out of plastic dip. I only have I think a can and a half. So I also picked up this other version of it. I think it's a dupe color. I'll show you that in a little bit. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a large hood blackout. I'm also going to be putting a stripe in that blackout and that stripe is going to continue down onto the grill. And then I also want to black out my cowl as well. So first thing I got to start off with is I got to unbolt the windshield wiper so I can remove the cowl. So that's going to require a 13 millimeter or half inch drive socket. So I'm going to go ahead and get those guys popped off real quick. And then I All right guys, so there are little teeth and it's kind of pressed on there. So you will have to grab something to pry it off with. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and dry everything off. I'm going to start with drying it off, and then I'm going to hit it with some detailing spray, clean it up, then I'm going to clay bar the hood, and then finish off with uh, spraying down some isopropyl alcohol to clean up any oils or contaminants that might still be on there after using a cleaning spray. That will make sure that I have a good platform to have the uh, duplicate color, the uh, plastic dip, stick to. Thing I want to do really quick before I keep going on the top of, on the top surface of the hood is I'm going to go ahead and pull off the uh, tie down hook on the hood along with the bumpers for when the windshield folds down and then also the uh, washer fluid lines and ends. So I'm going to pull that stuff out of the way that way I don't have to worry about masking around it or peeling the uh, plastic up off afterwards. It'll just be easier for me to hit now. So. We're going to get that stuff out. So grab your 9mm and we'll go ahead and remove the uh, hood, the uh, windshield tie down from the hood. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall those fasteners back on here just so I don't lose them. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the line from the wiper fluid uh, sprayers. Pull that off, and then what we're going to do is we're going to feed the clip up through the hood by pushing on the two clips on either side of it. Get those guys out of the way. So there's two little tabs on the inside of the hood bumper here. So there's these two little tags. You can see one right here, and one on the other side. So what I just had to do is depress that in, and then the hood bumper would come out. There we go. So that handles everything that we need to remove from underneath the hood. So, all right. Now I am ready to go ahead and use my detailing spray. So I have just some Mother Showtime de instant detailer. I'm going to use that in a rag, wipe down the hood good. Get anything in the way of dirt and grime off. So I'm going to use again the detailing spray with the clay bar. What they recommend doing is laying down a liberal amount of the spray and then working in a two directional manner, basically forward and back or side to side. Don't do both. Uh, you don't want to make swirl marks, so we're just going to work in basically a forward and back. And what's kind of cool about this is you can feel when you're uh, picking up contaminants because the paint feels rough. And then when you, uh, then it gets smoother as you go. And you can see all the contamination that I'm picking up off the hood here. You 
even though I just cleaned it, I'm picking up a whole bunch. So. So with that, I'm just going to make sure that everything's good and dry, get a fresh, dry uh, microfiber cloth here, get everything one more once over, make sure it's good and dry so that when I start putting the tape down, I don't run into issues with the tape lifting. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and start laying down the tape for my pattern. Get them approximately the same as best I can, and then I'll figure out where my cutoff on the front is going to be afterwards. So I'm definitely not doing straight lines. You'll be able to see this later when I wrap up. But what I'm doing is I'm actually kind of following the contour of the hood and trying to align with the Willy sticker on the side. Remembered, I need to put the grill back in. So here's the grill. Like I said, I got the grill inserts done. So this is the reason why I left these two out because I intend on putting a stripe right in about this location here. All right, now I'm gonna figure out the stripe that I wanna put down the front. Too wide and then that's going to continue down the grill right here and this part I'm actually going to mask negatively so here I'll be pulling this tape off to relieve uh, to show the white paint underneath and get rid of the blackout whereas on the grill I'm going to be masking on either side of this and that's where I'm going to have this actually whited out so that it matches the white paint so it'll be inverse of what you see on the hood. Now originally I was planning on coming through and then clipping the emblem back here, but I'm kind of thinking I might just black out the entire hood and cow straight back. I kind of think I might like the way that looks. That way it also gives me a, a covering on this front edge, which is going to be prone to getting rock chips, so that'll be good. Alright, so that wraps up the tape job. So I'm set up, ready to go, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut here and then also up between the cowl and the hood. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cowl tray, remove the grill. I'll do the reverse masking on the grill, clay bar, the cowl tray, and I can go ahead and paint both the grill and the cowl tray off the vehicle, and then I'll paint the hood up here. So, got a couple more steps left to do, and we'll be ready to start painting. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with, I'm gonna cut the tape, um, and then we're also gonna need a T30 uh, torx bit to go ahead and remove the cowl tray, so we're gonna get these guys out of the way real quick. You just use a screwdriver, it's pretty easy to get these guys out. And the reason why I left everything hooked, uh, bolted down for the cowl tray is because I want to make sure the paint lines match up when I'm done and when I go to reinstall the cowl tray. Alright guys, so I got my trim removal tool here, so I'm going to go ahead and pop these guys off. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of tape on the back side of this just to make sure that I don't end up damaging any of the paint while I'm prying up. That'll give it just a little bit of a protective layer there. Ready to start getting some painting going. So I just gotta finish up the masking. I'm gonna mask off the grill around the ends a little bit. Also get the windshield and everything, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start laying down some paint. So. All 
right, so I think that's gonna do for my masking. So I got the sides all masked off over the fenders. I've got the windshield wet masked off and the cow tray. And I also got the grill masked off. I'm gonna go ahead and switch gears. I'm gonna move over to getting the grill and the cow tray prepped up. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy clay barred. It's already been wiped down, so I'm gonna go and clay bar him real quick. this guy I'm gonna be actually painting this white so what I have to do is I have to tape on either side of what I already have existing so down with isopropyl alcohol and everything so I'm just gonna put down a nice little light coat here and this is just gonna take any contamination any oils from me touching it off that way I don't have anything that creates an imperfection on the paint once we're done all right guys so that wraps up all the prep work so I'm ready to go and start laying down some paints like I said before, so I have a can and a half of plastic dip. Unfortunately, when I went down to Home Depot to pick up some more, their spray can selection was pretty uh, depleted. So what I did was I picked up some of this Rust-Oleum peel coat. So it's basically the same thing, it's matte black, same as what the plastic dip is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the plastic dip as my base coats because I'm gonna run out of that probably sooner than anything. And then I'm gonna hit it with the peel coat afterwards. Uh, those will be the final coats. What I'm going to go ahead and start off with is I'm going to work basically kind of the center out or the center to each end and um, I'm going to keep the coats light. So the first coat I'm going to do a fairly light coat and I'm going to keep it extra light on the edge where I have to peel the paint or peel the tape off later because what happens is this stuff wants to stick to itself and it'll tear or it'll peel away as you start lifting the tape. So I'm going to leave that coat light until I get towards the end and I'm going to lay down a thicker coat to finish there, peel the tape off nearly immediately and that should keep me with a nice crystal. So yeah, so we're just gonna give it about 10 minutes for everything to dry and then I'm gonna start hitting a second coat up on the hood. All right, one thing you might notice that I did on that second coat there is I try to do full length sweeps. That way you don't have any interruptions where you have a little bit of extra paint where you start and stop your sweeping motion. So I try to go from starting point before the edge through all the way to the back edge, beyond the back edge, and then terminate. That way you don't have that area where you're having a buildup of paint where you're starting and stopping your spray. And then a couple areas you need to be focused on is make sure you get all the correct angles around the hinges and stuff, otherwise you're not going to come out there. All right guys, so it is time for the final coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and start laying this guy down. And I'm kind of rushing, well not rushing, but I'm decreasing the time between my second to last coat and this last coat, just because I wanna make sure that, because I started laying down a heavier bead towards the end here, that I can still peel this tape away. So I'm gonna go ahead and start laying this guy down. Final coat, going a little heavy on this one. So here, like I said, I want to make sure I go nice and heavy on this outside edge here. So I'm going to be killing that away pretty quick here. All right, so that finishes off all the hood paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start getting ready to peel this stuff all off on this end here. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this at an extremely sharp angle and peel away. So notice I'm coming almost perpendicular to the paint line as I'm peeling away. So far, it looks like it's peeling away really nice. Oh yeah, that is a nice crisp line. And I didn't have anything left off, that is a great sign. So far, it's going really perfect, guys. All right, that turned out really killer. Again, I'm just gonna get a nice wet coat right along the paint edge. I'm going to just let that sit for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the grill real quick. Time to peel the tape off here now. Well, and there's one area that I didn't quite get good. I got a little overspray inside of there. It's not a big deal, unfortunate, but whatever, it's okay. I don't mind too much. Uh, I didn't get the tape tight, tightly enough in there, so I came back and angled like this guy underneath, but it still turned out pretty darn good. Actually. go very cool I think that turned out pretty sweet all right guys this is how it turned out I think it looks pretty sweet so it's time to go ahead and start throwing everything back in spray that I left so I purposely did this so what you can do is you can just basically roll this right on off and it kind of comes off just like a vinyl sticker and then when you get to a point then you can just peel it and because I have a edge break here it won't peel the paint away from the uh, the grill surface I'm just gonna peel right on away and you can see that how that's happening here so it works just like a vinyl which is really cool and the reason why I really like plastic dip if you screw up or you lose heart for what you did a while back, you just peel it right off and you're good to go and you're back to normal. I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks pretty darn slick. I'm really happy with how that turned out. That's cool. All right, all wrapped up, Chief's buttoned up. Let's take a look. And there she is. I think she turned out pretty darn sweet. I gotta be honest, I'm really happy with how it turned out. really nice look and I like the way that the line came out I didn't end up doing a straight line I don't know if you guys will be able to see it very well through the video here but it is just a little bit of a curve kind of matches the profile of the hood and I really like the way that that turned out that and then also the grill that lined up really well here the line came through really slick and just passes right on down. Then you can also see how the grill guards or the yeah, the grill slot inserts turned out. I think they turned out pretty sweet as well. And then the hood line just going all the way back. All the way back up through the cow tray. I think it turned out really sweet. So that wraps it up for this video on how to do a hood blackout and also add a stripe in in the center uh, using Plasti Dip or uh, Rust-Oleum's peel coat And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit the like button. Uh, and if you're feeling like it, subscribe to my channel. 
sign up for notifications. That way you know you get notified when I post a new video. You guys can stay up to date with what I'm doing. As always, definitely leave me comments, feedback, anything you liked, any questions you guys have. Hope you guys are all enjoying your long four-day weekend here. Today is July 3rd, so tomorrow is July 4th. Happy Independence Day, everyone. Hope you all have a great one. Let those freedom bells ring. All right, take care, guys. Catch you next time.